So it's Tottenham in their change strip who will kick off, attacking the goal to the right, and Darren Anderson with a very cheeky early attempt there to beat Bruce Grobola. It was, of course, a Matthew Letizia penalty in the first match which forced the 1-1 draw and tonight's replay. And having got them back to the Dell, and Southampton make home advantage count. There are 15,000 people crammed into this tight little ground. Here's Heaney. And that will be a Tottenham throw. Well, Tottenham were leading in the first game through Jurgen Klinsmann's goal before Letizia did what he does best from the penalty spot and scored. Magilton spreading it wide to Jason Dodd. Shippley! Oh, what a start for Southampton! Only six minutes gone at the Dell, and they lead by one goal to nil, and it's Neil Shippley. The ball driven in by Jason Dodd, and Shippley getting to it first. No doubt Tottenham have been weakened by the absentees. Sol Campbell out with a hamstring, George Popescu out with a, a knee injury. Chance hit off a Bambi! Good save by Grobola. Oh, Nicky Bambi sprinting in there. Chance to get Tottenham back on level terms with only 12 minutes gone. Good save from the Zimbabwean international. Magilton, Dodd, good deep cross, oh, headed out from under his own crossbar there by Austin. Tottenham are under pressure here. Letitier with the corner. This time it's headed over the bar by Nethercott. He's been given the specific job tonight of keeping Matthew Letitier quiet. Letizia with the corner. Walker under pressure. Here's Dodd! Oh, he's in the post! It's going to be another corner. And Southampton might have been two up. Well, Walker was under intense pressure there from Moncow. But when the ball came out to Jason Dodd, who doesn't score many goals, Walker responded with, what well, an excellent save to push it onto the post. Pause for thought for Jerry Francis, the managerial replacement for Ozzy Ardiles at White Hart Lane. This is Heaney galloping down that left flank. Goes in between two, still Heaney. Oh, and he's tripped. Austin was the culprit, and it's going to be a penalty. Terrific pace, and that's what defenders don't like to have to deal with. Austin was all over the back of him. And now it will be Matthew Letizia to score his 35th penalty out of the last 36, but it was close. Walker got both hands on it, but he couldn't keep it out. And an incredible goal-scoring record from the penalty spot continues. Now and ball there in the flat cap, the Southampton manager must be really pleased with what he's seen. Rosenthal! Oh, that came from nothing. And it's the Tottenham substitute, Ronnie Rosenthal. A good early ball in by Nicky Barmby. And Rosenthal just swept that over the head of Bruce Grobola. Well, that's certainly given Tottenham a lift. Here's Rosenthal, the goal scorer. scored again another goal from nothing by Ronnie Rosenthal and two strikes in the space of two minutes have put Tottenham back on level terms and he must surely have caught Grobelaar by surprise he just drifted in and thought well he'll chance his arm from 30 yards and now the Tottenham fans have found their voices Here's the Tissier. Shoots from distance, oh, and stinging the hands of Walker. 
Well, how it's changed for Alan Ball, Southampton. 2-0 up at half-time, and now facing extra time. There it is, it's 2-2 after 90 minutes. Two goals from Ronnie Rosenthal, the substitute. And still, Liverpool don't know who they'll play in the next round. Well, they came in expectation of entertainment, and they're certainly getting it. And here's Ronnie Rosenthal. Can he work the magic again? Oh, he can! Unbelievable! It's three goals for Ronnie Rosenthal, the substitute. And Bruce Grobelar, but he didn't seem to make any attempt to go for it. Maybe he thought he was going wide, in fact, he took his hands away. Well, Bruce returned from Zimbabwe, especially for this match. Maybe wishes that he hadn't. And into this second period now of extra time, and Tottenham are flying. Here's Anderton. Sheringham. a handball by Rosenthal, it will be a free kick. What an extraordinary night for Ronnie Rosenthal. Began the night on the bench, came on as a substitute and has turned the match single-handedly. Benali with the free kick, Shipley with the header. Oh, Moncow didn't deal with that, there's a defending here for Benali to do, but he's lost out to Klinsman. He just chips it in for Sheringham, surely this is number four. Sheringham left with the easiest of tasks, Jürgen Klinsman just sliding him in. Grubbelar committed himself. And Sheringham tucks it away for Tottenham Sport. Well, how the night has changed for Southampton. 2-0 up. And now looking at oh, the, looking at conceding a fifth goal, maybe. Barmby goes around Grobelar, and that's number five. And at the moment, it's like taking sweets off children. Southampton's defence has just crumbled. Well, Jerry Francis said that this was Tottenham's biggest game of the season. Moving into the sixth round of the FA Cup on a season in which, initially, they weren't allowed to compete because of financial irregularities, but that FA ban was rescinded under pressure from Tottenham. And who knows, they might go on to win the Cup. Here's Barnby. And Grubble has committed himself, and he's way out of his goal. Here's Anderton, Grobelar trying to get back, that's number six. It's a cruel scoreline, really. But Bruce Grobelar, well, he just goes wandering out of his penalty area, and he's hardly got back onto his goal line before Anderton drilled that ball past him. He might have taken a slight deflection on the way. And there it is, Tottenham will play Liverpool in the sixth round after a memorable night at the Dell and a memorable night for Ronnie Rosenthal. And he's asking the referee, can I keep the ball?